Hello, I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll be looking at how to engineer a module. This isn't specific to any one module, but rather to any module you may want to upgrade. Let's look at the steps you'll need to take to upgrade any module. We'll start with the somewhat obvious unlocking the necessary engineer. Each engineer is responsible for a primary and many times several secondary modules. Modules can be upgraded to five different levels, referred to as grades, and can have additional experimental effects added. These effects range from extending jump range to increasing the damage of weapons. Once the engineer is unlocked, we'll need to decide what upgrades we'd like to make to the modules they engineer. To do this, you can refer to one of our module guides linked on screen now. After you've decided what blueprints and special effects you'd like to add, you'll need to determine what materials you'll need to perform the upgrade. The best way to do this is to use the fantastic ED engineering tool, which we've also covered in a previous tutorial, once again linked on screen now. ED Engineer will allow you to create a shopping list of all the items you need, so you can ensure you have everything ready when you arrive at the engineer's station. Now that you have your shopping list, you'll need to gather the needed resources. As there are a number of ways to do this depending on what's necessary, you'll want to watch our tutorial on gathering materials. Guess where it's linked? This general guide will point you in the right direction to all the materials, minerals, and data you'll need. Now that you have everything you need, it's time to head to the engineer to actually upgrade your module. Remember, you don't necessarily have to upgrade a module all the way to grade 5. Even a lower grade module can make a big difference. When you're ready, head to the appropriate engineer's base, open Starport Services, and choose Engineer's Workshop. Now you'll be able to select the module you'd like to upgrade and begin your roles. Each module must be upgraded from grade 1 to grade 5. If this is your first time with the engineer, you'll need to perform the following roles to fully max out a module. 3 grade 1, 3 grade 2, 3 grade 3, 3 grade 4, and finally 9 grade 5. While it doesn't always take this many roles, if you always plan for this many, you'll always have enough materials to ensure you max out a module. While visiting an engineer, you'll want to pin the blueprint that you will use most often. Pinning allows you to roll that blueprint at any station in the galaxy that has outfitting. This can be a huge time saver as you don't need to visit the engineer for popular modifications. You'll be able to pin one blueprint per engineer which covers all five grades. Finally, you'll want to apply your chosen experimental effect, which you'll be able to do once the module has been upgraded to grade 3. Experimental effects can only be applied at the engineer's base and cannot be applied by the remote workshop feature. Note that legacy modules also must be upgraded at the engineer's base and also cannot be completed using remote workshop. While the entire process for upgrading a module is not easy nor brief, the benefits to gameplay can be significant. For more information on the various blueprints and experimental effects available, see our continuing series on Engineering Explained. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching.